guy's name is John Rigatello, and he is a terrible CEO. He was basically fired from two gaming companies because when a CEO steps down, it's just them leaving before they actually get fired because that doesn't look good on a job resume. Why else would someone leave a job position that gets them $12 billion a year and the only requirement for the position is being able to breathe? Because John over here was not a good CEO. If you've seen the recent Unity fiasco, you know why he stepped down. Unity, the game engine company, tried to charge devs per install if they used the Unity game engine. And literally, no one liked this change. Even people who didn't make their games on Unity said it was a terrible decision. And the devs who did make their games on Unity considered uprooting years of development just to switch off the Unity game engine. And a game engine is basically the core of a game. Without it, a game doesn't exist. It's the foundation. So game developers planning to switch if this change did go through was a big deal. Luckily, the change did not go through, but ultimately Unity will probably never recover or at least not for a decade. This was a serious breach of trust for people because they didn't even make this a big deal when they announced it. They kind of just were like, hey, we're doing this by the way, guys. And it was all this guy's fault. To be honest, I didn't know who this guy was until this Unity situation. And oh boy, I found out that this guy's only skill is being a greedy sleazeball. He used to be the CEO of EA, already a bad start. But if you dig a little deeper, you find out that this guy wanted to charge people to reload their gun in Battlefield. Like charge people real money to press the reload button. That is how delusional this man is. He resigned from EA because of things like that. The fact that this man had a job after all that is honestly a miracle, especially since his Wikipedia is not very flattering. And honestly, every time I see him, I think he has no soul. Like, do you see a soul in those eyes? Either way, I'm glad he resigned from Unity and hopefully they can recover from this. But it is ridiculous that someone who wanted to charge you real money to reload in a game ever got hired to be the Unity CEO in the first place. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, new, follow me, Twitter, ads, fans, want to click the intro, check out more of my content and have a good one.